Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Franker channel. Today we're going to discuss how a uh, starting system works, some parts of starting system, and uh, some basic diagnostics of it. Um, hopefully I'll be uh, making sense. So to start off with, in our starting system we have starter, we have our battery, so your negative and positive, you have your ignition switch, in your case, it's where you put the key in. Um, I'm just using a basic push button. Uh, you'll have a fuse on your vehicle. It'll be a different type of fuse. It won't be this type. On your vehicle, it'll be a fuse like this. Okay, maybe a fuse like this. Uh, a relay, so starter relay. Neutral safety switch, if you drive a standard vehicle or a manual transmission, it won't look like this. It will just be a, a push button. And uh, I've added a reverse light to it, so neutral safety switch in this case is what controls the reverse light. Here is a diagram uh, for the, the whole circuit. So you have your battery, you have your starter, you got neutral safety switch, um, reverse light, relay, and ignition switch, and the fuse. Okay. So the S looking thing is, backward S I guess, is uh, the fuse. Forgot to write fuse on it. And we have the same thing on the circuit board. Okay, we have the same thing on the circuit board. Okay. So for your car to start, first of all you have to have it in uh, park or neutral if it's automatic transmission. If it's uh, manual transmission, obviously you have to step on the clutch and it's a clutch safety switch. Once you step on the clutch, it will energize um, the starter solenoid, okay? So what happens is uh, when you start the car, as long as your car is in park or you're stepping on the clutch, when you push the button, in this case you push the button in your car, you turn the key, the starter gets energized, this drive, the starter drive comes out, this part right here, it's called a pinion or a starter drive. This comes out, it spins, engages with the flywheel, spins the flywheel, and uh, then the crankshaft spins and the engine starts spinning with it. Okay. So, for example, in this case, if you keep an eye here, you'll see the pinion drive coming out. So you press that, okay. you press that, the pinion gear comes out, engages with the flywheel, and the uh, flywheel spins. So the neutral safety switch, it acts like, um, well, basically a safety switch. So you don't start your car in drive or reverse. Same thing with the manual transmission. You don't start it while your transmission is engaged. So let's try that in uh, reverse. So that's why I put the bulb on so you can see that. So if we go to reverse and we press the button now, nothing happens, okay? That's the safety measure, it doesn't start in reverse. If we go from reverse to neutral, where it should start, so we press the button again, the starter engages. So you can see that coming out. Okay, that's the part that spins the flywheel. And it's the same thing if we go from neutral to drive, the starter still doesn't engage, okay? The relay does get energized, but the neutral safety switch won't send the power to the starter. So for any starter to spin, these two points have to be energized, okay? So one point, it comes from the battery, it comes straight from the battery. High amperage current runs through it, so it comes right from the positive. It goes all the way down to the to the starter solenoid, that's a starter solenoid. The second piece, which is right here, I'll show you on a different starter so you can see it clearly, that comes from the neutral safety switch, okay? It comes from the relay to the neutral safety switch, it comes from the relay to the neutral safety switch, from the neutral safety switch it comes out and it energizes the second part. As soon as these two parts have current, the starter will spin, okay? The same thing on here, I got a couple other starters here. 
So on this starter, this is where your main battery power will come in. This is from a Toyota, I believe. This is where the main power will come from the battery, straight from the battery. The second wire is right here, which will be um, a thinner wire, okay? That comes from the neutral safety switch. The other wire, that main wire that comes to the starter is the ground wire. In this case, I've grounded it right to the battery, but on cars, what will happen is the starter will be mounted onto the engine and the engine will be grounded. So everything gets grounded through the engine. So in this case, I've ran a wire that goes to our negative battery cable. So on a bench test, what I've done is I've grounded the starter. So I've got the negative coming to the ground. I have the positive. So this will be the wire that will be coming right to the, the bigger terminal on the starter solenoid. So that, that's positive. That's coming right from the battery. And this is the one, the small wire, which comes to the S side of it, okay? It comes here. And uh, this wire is the one that comes from, this is the small wire that comes from your neutral safety switch, relay ignition switch, it comes through all that, okay? As soon as there is power going here and power going here, the starter will energize. Turn the booster pack on, so we have the power coming here. As soon as I touch this onto the smaller terminal or the S terminal, the starter will energize. Okay, and you can see that. Okay. So what happens is, when the power is coming to the to the big terminal from the from the battery, it spins the starter. Okay, it will make the drive spin. The armature will start spinning. The smaller one, all it does is, there's a yoke in here, I'll show you that, but you can actually see it right in here. So that part right in here, that is the yoke. Let me get a flashlight, maybe you can see it better. So there you go. So that right here is the yoke. So when you energize the second one, the smaller one, the yoke will push the, the starter solenoid, uh, or no, sorry, not the solenoid, it will push the drive, the pinion out. So let me try doing that. Let's see what happens. So if I energize the smaller one, okay, so you can see that it will throw out the pinion. So the pinion comes out, engages with the flywheel, and the armature spins as soon as the power is given to the, the bigger terminal, and it starts spinning.